Hello, how are you all? <coughs> now we are with SS as we had gone through the third lesson movements towards a new world. As we had seen that there was a first world war, its impact and how uh, Italy, Germany and Japan played a vital role in the causes of the second world war. So we have finished some four points about this. Uh, let me just go through it. Uh, let it be. The first one was Fascism in Italy, Nazism in Germany, militarism in Japan, and the Global Depression 1929 to 32. What was the impact of the First World War? We can see that everything was ruined socially, economically, and every politically too. Many governments has been changed, many fights were being uh, practiced and wars and these are all things. Then there we got a new point and page number 16 go towards, you yeah, go through your textbook, it's compulsory for each and everyone to be with it. Now let's have World War II, 1929 to 1945, factors, please underline this line. When was the second world war, it's 1939 to 1949 for about six years this war was fought by two groups let's begin let's go through their factors so the second for the world war had so the seed for the world war two had been sown in the treaty of Versailles. paris peace process has displeased many nations the events that happened after that led to the third world, uh, sorry, the second world war. Why I am going to say, why I am saying, say, third, third, third. It might happen as China is doing it bad deeds within India and other countries too. Apart from there is election in America too. Apart the uh, African countries, the, uh, we can say, United Arab Emirates and many 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 things that are being derived nowadays and might be as we got a very good uh, reverse or not good uh, typical conditions of this coronavirus COVID novel COVID-19 a disease might be a great disease occur of the third world war might might not possible pray God that it won't happen but let's begin Causes of so dear children, let's study the factors responsible the World War II, which were the factors that affected and the causes of World War II. Number one is fierce nationalism. Number one, after the First World War, fierce nationalism developed in Germany, Japan, and Italy. Germans could never forget and overcome the treaty of Versailles. Consequently, Hitler captured some provisions of Austria and Czechoslovakia following his Nazi philosophy that Germans must get all those provinces where Germans were staying. So it was a typical mentality of Mr. Hitler that wherever Germans are staying, that, that place must be the property of Germany. So he started and he got war with Australia, not Australia, Austria and Czechoslovakia. Mussolini started the fierce nationalism and adopted of imperialistic policies. On the other hand, Japan too gave into imperialism. Thus, world peace was in danger. So this most probably we can say causes of the Second World War. Who are the responsible countries? There were Germany, Italy, and Japan. These three countries were the most responsible country. Were the most responsible country for the causes of Second World War that people have to face because of their policies, because of their philosophies. Because of that, we can say what you all, yeah. Uh, we can say imperialistic, uh, this mind of consignments, we can say. Sometime of 
of the related group. I also forgot. Now groupism. Most pro or, I mean, India dominant thing was groupism. Since France was always afraid of Germany, after the First World War, it entered into a treaty with Belgium, Poland, Romania, and Czechoslovakia. As you all know, France have taken lots and lots of money from Germany, uh, sorry, from Italy after First World War. So ever France was in danger and France was afraid. So they signed the treaty with different countries like Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, Romania, Hungary, Greece, Turkey, not sorry, sorry, uh, Germany. And uh, it got a treaty with Belgium, Poland, Romania and Czechoslovakia. Then Italy also signed a treaty with Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, Romania, Hungary, Greece, Turkey and Australia. Russia signed treaty with Germany, Turkey, Lithuania and Iran. Italy formed the Rome, Berlin, Tokyo axis group with the support of Germany and Japan. Please underline this line. This line is the most important thing. That Italy formed the Rome, Berlin, Tokyo axis group. Underline this thing. Axis group with the supremacy. Yeah, support of Germany and Italy and Japan. Now England and France form another group with the democratic values. Germany signed a non-aggression treaty with Russia. England also went into a particular group with the European countries. Why? Germany signed a non-aggression treaty with Russia. So Russia also was a part of the Axis group. Thus a whole atmosphere of fear in the whole world, the factor to gave an impetus to the world war. Impetus means cause we can say. That being with the treaty, secret treaty, signing treaties and making groupism and this all feared the world. World came to know that obviously there will be a war in a short period. Now militarism. On the other side, efforts were being made to maintain peace after the First World War. Whereas, on the other side, European nations were competing to ammunition. The production of more and more weapons increased in all European nations. War weapons better than the others were being manufactured. Some nations like Russia and Germany began compulsory military training. So on the other side of the coin we can say. After the first world war there was a treaty that each and every country will live in a peace. But on the other side of the coin there was a competition we can say to build up weapons and weapons and armaments and these all things. So, everybody in the European countries and the other countries too started developing high technical, more upgraded, we can say, weapons for the war. Even countries like Germany and Russia made compulsory military training. All nations began inducting more manned navy, air force and army. In the East Japan, increased its military force. Finally, the World War II had been declared when even England and France tried to equip themselves with war weapons. And at last, World War was declared. No doubt, England and France too, they also have developed their weapons. Now failure of the League of Nations, as you know after the First World War they got the League of All Nations, some nations, there was a treaty that in order to establish peace after the First World War the League of Nations was formed as you all know but neither could it become a supreme organization having sovereignty over other nations of the world nor did it have its own army to make the nations follow its principles. So we can see that 
no doubt the league was developed a group was developed that there will be peace security secularism everything but there was there were not a particular army within there to stop any country do uh, making any misuse ya yeah, going for war ya yeah, anything else so the league was now broken out member nations were not obliged to take the problems to the league of nations or to accept the judgment passed by it even though the members were also not following the rules and regulations of the league many nations have moved out of the league of the nations initially russia and germany snapped their ties with the league of nations later italy and japan moved out because italy had captured abyssinia japan had attacked manchuria germany had snatched away some provinces of czechoslovakia still the league of nations could do nothing so day by day they were moving back to the league means they were now going they were undersigning the uh, for example that they were resigning to the league nobody was going to continue with the league as germany italy japan etc countries those countries were attacking the nearby country for war Adeta, the greed for power among several nations became stronger than the League of Nations. It could not stop groupism. The, this was the biggest failure of the League of the League of Nations. So you might get a short note from this failure of the League League of Nations. So you can write this every point. Can you do? Uh, attacks of Germany, Italy, Japan to the neighboring countries. Apart from they were leaving now the league, they were not following the rules and regulations of the league. Besides, the league of nation was uh, not having any particular type of uh, army, so the uh, so that they can protest the other nations. Oh yeah, stops the. Uh, bad ya yeah, evil customs ya yeah, regulations ya yeah, principles of the other countries besides there was groupism among the nations those who were in league and those who were not in the league too so this was the case causes and the league cannot control the countries because of groupism and yet it was a big failure of the league now Treaty of Versailles. The Treaty of Versailles got its form in the Paris peace process at the end of the First World War, as we had gone, uh, uh, we knew that it earlier we have gone through it. Since Germany was found responsible for the war, it had to pay 6.5 billion pound as war fund. Its road province was taken away. Rene River had to be open for international sea route. Thus, such an unfair and humiliation treaty was possibly imposed on Germany. The German dictator Adolf Hitler called the Treaty of Versailles as a piece of paper and announced it to reject it. As you all know, that just a minute. Ah! Sorry, sorry. So as you all know that Germany was a main ruler. Yeah, Germany has played a main role in the First World War. And because and they found that Germany was guilty. So they fined Germany with lots and lots of pounds and pounds of money. Apart from that, they have to open the river route for international route. Beside that, they have captured the creamy area of rural provinces. Again, they got the powerful leader like Hitler. When Germany got the powerful leader like Hitler, as you all know about Hitler, go to the autobiography of Hitler through your Google if you want to know more about him. That you can just see that how 
he was and what were his uh, rules and regulations and this all thing and he told the treaty of versailles as a piece of paper p i e c e not p e a c e no doubt it was formed for p e a c e the treaty was formed for p e a c e peace but now it has become just a p i e c e of paper so you can understand what is peace and peace now imperialistic ambition of adolf hitler what is imperialistic hitler laid the foundation of the second world war you can understand germany was a cause for the first world war again hitler adolf hitler was a cause or was a main uh, hero we can say hitler laid the foundation he are the founder of the second world war he had a fierce nationalistic and militaristic nature that's why he wished the unity stability and prosperity of germany at any cost he was such a typical type of person he thinks no only german are the best he belongs his blood was shedding his blood was moving for only and only for germany he thinks everything only and only for germany so this type of particular person so he wished the unity stability and prosperity of germany at germany at any cost the first victim of his imperialism was austria along with germany army he entered austria on 12th march 1938 please underline this that this was the first test towards the first second world war and it was made by the german dictatorship ya yeah, dictator sorry adolf hitler on 12th march 1938 on the very next day of munich convention germany had captured czechoslovakia on 1st october 1938 After that it had captured the Mammoth Fort of Lithuania in March 1939 thus a guard grand german nation was created by hitler his imperialistic policy was a main cause of the second world war he only and only wants the extension of german empire he thought wherever the german used to live that place is called germany so it must be in the map it must be declared as this place is only and only particular for germany because german people were living there so he captured austria and czechoslovakia too now german attack on poland and immediate cause the above mentioned causes has made the world to sit on a heap of amenities sorry amenities a small spark could blow up the whole world and this spark was german attack on the peaceful poland on september 1st 39 39 early morning please underline this because from this day world war second started thus world war 2 had begun britain and france warned germany to stop the war immediately but germany ignored the warning hence britain and france plunged into the war consequently the war spread in entire world so germany was the main factor for the second world war obviously also for the first world war two world war and the second world war two so we can understand it was a beginning of the second world war and no doubt england and france tried to stop this war but 
the german dictator hitler did in stop and the war was declared now we are going to world war 2 and outline i think so i have it what is that with the commencement means announcement of the world war 2 the world was again divided into two groups on one side was a group of allied nations led by england and france on the other side was a group of axis nation allied and axis this is axis not axis bank i know my student will say sir axis bank no it's axis and allied two groups are there allied nations stands for england and france etc companies and so countries and allied nations stands for or sorry axis comprising of germany italy and japan Beside the some other factors with war driven mentally had entered into Japan into this Japan attacked the American navy at Pearl Harbor as a result America gave up on its neutral stand and retaliated its joint allied nations thus making it stronger when the war was going on in full swing America dropped atom bomb on the two Japanese cities Hiroshima and Nagasaki in order to stop Japan from moving any further about 1 lakh to 1 lakh 24000 Japanese citizens lost their lives and there was absolute destruction Japan surrendered in August 1945 and World War 2 came to an end so you can understand here everybody used to say that america at that time dropped to atom bomb on american why they drop on japan why they did so but my dear friends you can easily understand that the first attack was from from whom the first attack was from japan to the port pearl harbor america was not in war at that time in second world war but no doubt they have to <coughs> save themselves and at that time from the axis nations japan italy germany they were in great form at that time winning many countries and japan did so they attacked pearl harbor a place is there and thus due to that america then joined the allied nations with england and france and dropped two atom bomb on hiroshima and nagasaki both are the cities of japan and more than were lack 24000 japanese were killed yeah we can say have lost their lives and after this japan collapsed and they surrendered on 11th august 1945 and the world war 2 was at the end we can say this let me go a little bit so affects on world war 2 we will continue with our next session till date i want to say you that if you get any type of doubt if you are having any type of doubt just you can uh send me what ship me or call me you no know, doubt this thing your ninth ss is designed in a particular way that it's a sudden jump from 8 to 9 you are having ncrt course apart uh, this all uh, chapters are uh, designed in such a way that uh, your uh, maturity level changes obviously till 8 you all were in primary sections no doubt i don't i have not gone through the 8 uh, standard ss portion ya yeah, syllabus 
but as per i think for your ninth standard this is a typical one we can say but it's a drastic change yeah drastic change but it's needed you know it's necessary for you to go towards that standard 10 this is is easier than ninth no doubt ninth standard ss is little bit tough one but lots and lots of knowledge is derived in this textbook your ninth standard textbook so my dear friends i would like to say sorry go through this go through this books and whatever you get from this book it will be helpful to you if you are going for your civil service examinations yeah anything else if you have targeted for ias ips ifs yeah any competitive examination yeah if you have uh, targeted iim then also it will be helpful to you this knowledge this book contains lots and lots of history civics and geography that are too much useful in your throughout your life so you got lots and lots of time recently our uh, chief minister has announced that we are not going to start school so you are having lots and lots of time so you can go through this books and many words are there superbly derived these words are superbly derived thus you can make into practice in your own writing see in your speech etc i am getting complaints about my student that they are not going through english they are not uh being with english but obviously beta if you are in english medium you have to be this be with this a particular uh, language is this so you have to go through this and it's my kind request if you all read once twice thrice how many times you can read this book especially ss book it's it's, it's you know mind blowing this will help you throughout your life you can ask your parents to read ya yeah, you, you read and explain them about because they don't know about the world war world war 1 world war 2 3 it will be happening might be happen ya yeah. so but whatever these are judiciary system is there fundamental rules fundamental uh, this <coughs> our whole constitution is derived in this thing so all my dear students it's my kind request that you all go through it this next we will continue in our third session thank you thank you very much